Hello guys, how you doing? Kyle Vapes here. <coughs> and I'm back. Good morning. I'm back with another Aegis review. Uh, this is from Beyond Vapes. I believe this is the last Aegis that... Um, this is the last Aegis on the line. Maybe with the exception of one. No, it's the uh, orange and raspberry pie is the last one. I'm just up. It's about half eight in the morning. This is before I go to work. I like to crank out a wee video now and again, so... Um, but yeah, this is blueberry pie from Pie Man. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's starting to go. Um, I was caught in the rain last night. But yeah, blueberry pie. I love this Aegis. I know I say that about a lot of Aegis, but as I stated in my previous videos, it's kind of a hard to get a bad Aegis nowadays. But yeah, the colour um, is quite interesting. It looks kind of a pinky orange. And the smell is just hits you right in the face. I mean, I don't get any pie crust or anything like that in the smell. No pie crust in the smell. It's more of a, it, it smells more like a dough than a pie crust. But yeah, I can definitely smell the, can smell the blueberries there. It's a, it's a real blueberry as well, wee small, uh, wee small blue things. No, the wee sweeties, just the actual, honest to god, blueberries. But yeah, let's give this a vape, shall we? Get the top cap on. Blueberries there on the inhale. Definitely. Blueberries there on the inhale. There's something going on in the back of the blueberry. It doesn't relate to a pie crust. I mean, I don't know what it is. I know what they're going for, but I definitely I know what they're going for. It's the same in that. Uh, it's the same in the orange and raspberry, um, raspberry pie one that they've sent the pie man as well. It's the same kind of a pie flavour they're using. I've tasted better pie flavours, I have to admit, but the blueberry flavour on this is fucking unreal. Honestly, the blueberry flavour on this is absolutely insane. It's just lacking in the pie part. It's a good blueberry juice, but it's not a good... Well, it is a good blueberry pie juice. It's just... it. The pie crust lets it down just a tiny wee bit, I think. Anyway, let's bump her up. I mean, we're only at 35 watts, so it's no... I mean, I have... Li this is literally the first time I've picked up a vape this morning. So, my, my lungs, you, they still take a wee bit of adjusting in the morning. But yeah, we'll bump it up to 45 watts. It was at 35 watts. This is a fully charged 18650 that's in here. Two seconds to uh, clear the palette. I'm on a health kick, guys. Um, yeah, been going to the gym and stuff like that, trying to lose this body weight here. But let's go for it, shall we? 50 watts. 45 watts. That's the pie crust. The pie crust coming through just now. I can definitely taste it. It tastes like a sweet crust. Like a, a, a pastry. You know, like, know the kind of pastries that you would get in an apple pie where it's kind of a lot of shortbread pastry, but an actual honest to god pastry that wouldn't look out of place on top of a steak pie type of thing. A proper pastry. I know it sounds weird to say, but at 35 watts, it kind of a tasted. I mean, I can get the idea of what this tasted like now that I know that it. Now that I've tasted it in its full effect. It tasted like uncooked pastry, you know, which is kind of ironic seeing as the higher the wattage goes, the more it actually, you know, tastes like being cooked. Blueberry's not fading away at all, guys. Yeah, I mean, see what tends to happen is blueberry's quite a weak flavour, in my opinion. It either starts off too weak or the bigger the you know the bigger increments that you put up to you know the, the, the bigger wattages that you vape it at basically it starts to kind of a drop off a wee bit and if there's another flavour in that e juice that that flavour will become primary. 
that's what I think when when Blueberry, you know, when I get a hand when I get hands on some Blueberry E juices. But this this there's no problem with that. I'm the, I'm enjoying this, babe. <coughs> oh, see what I mean with the lungs. A lot of vapor, but yeah. I'm enjoying this. What does it say on there? I mean, the bottle is just a just a pie with some blueberries on it, and it says blueberry there. Uh, all the ingredients: uh, vegetable glycerin, propylene glycol. We all know that. Um, prop proposition sixty five warning. You will probably know what all that as well is, and uh, the wee pie man logo there. I like the pie man Aegis. Um I want to try the apple pie. I don't know if they've even got an apple pie, but I want to try it if they do. And if you don't, get on it, lads. Definitely. And I suggest using the same concentrate um, as the Pale Whale um, Spice Trader. See the apple they put in that? It's fucking gorgeous, man. The same pie crust as this. Oh, it would be a brilliant vape. But yeah, I really, really like this sea juice. It's getting awful hot. One thing I have been finding with the tsunami, I see with the chain vape, it does tend to get quite hot quite fast. Um, I, in the Kennedy Twenty Four RDA, I'm no, I'm not seeing that quite as much. But yeah, I'm digging these velocity posts. By the way, they're so fucking easy. I mean, you don't eat, see when you're putting coils in these things, you don't even need to like. You, you know how you usually need to. Make sure that the two uh, leads are kind of a parallel, so they go in, and you know the coil sitting kind of a flush to the airflow. See this, see because it's kind of a staggered. You know you're putting. I mean, say there's two. Say there's two uh, There's two holes here, right? Two post holes here and two post holes underneath that. You're putting one lead through here and one lead through there. Now what usually happens is. I mean, all builders will come across this eventually. Well, all first starting builders, right enough. When you when you build a coil, one leg's facing that way and the other leg's facing fucking that way, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass to actually get it into the RDA. Well, you don't get it with this prop. Uh, you don't get it with this uh, with, with this RDA because the the postals are staggered. There's one down there and one down there. Now, if you've got a coil, the, the both the legs are facing the opposite direction. It'll just slip in and it'll lie flush. To the airflow that this is done, I don't know if you can maybe get a wee close up of this. But yeah, there's there's, there's basically two holes, um, and one lead is through the bottom hole, and the other lead is through the top hole. So yeah, one of the best fucking, one of the best uh, RDAs that I've actually tried, besides the fact that it gets bloody roasting. But yeah, there will be a review on this shortly, I just I need to get all these just reviews out. Um, because I've got a lot, I've got a fucking not a backlog of Aegis. Decad and Vapor are sending me um, a sample uh, pack of their Aegis's over. Um, Classic Vape Company are sending me some Aegis's over. Um, I'm in contact with the guys at Wismec. So, yeah. But, that's been pretty much it for this video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then by all means, subscribe and um, put a comment down in the video just um, obviously what you what you think of the video and what you think of the Aegis should they, should you buy it should you not the rating for this Aegis I'm going to give it is about an 8 out of 10 um, just simply for the fact that I can I can pick this up and vape it for hours and hours do you know what I mean and I, I you know I can just I can come in and pick it up it's nice a nice relaxing vape it fills the air with a nice fresh blueberry scent um, but yeah guys this has been this review thanks very much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video right ta ta